Hello, this is Aviation Blue Tech uh, coming to you with another video. Uh, today's uh, video, I'm going to be reviewing the Gemini Jets uh, Delta Airbus A330 300. Uh, registration number is November 823 uh, November Whiskey. Uh, manufacturer serial number is uh, 1628. Uh, the configuration on this. Uh, uh, aircraft is uh, 34 business class seats, uh, 30, 32 economy plus, and 227 uh, economy uh, for a total 293 uh, seats. Uh, it's powered by two uh, CF6 80 engines uh, producing around 72,000 pounds of thrust. The range of the aircraft is uh, 6,100 uh, nautical miles. Uh, Delta was the launch customer of the enhanced uh, 242 ton uh, for max takeoff. Uh, it gives you better range and uh, more payload. Uh, Gemini's did come out with uh, um, an earlier version. The uh, I think it's uh, the November 822 November uh, whiskey uh, registration a couple years ago, and I wasn't too happy with that model. Uh, because of the the way the wings uh, kind of were, uh, some reason they were set like in flight mode, uh, didn't look right. But I'm happy to say that they fixed that issue on this one. Uh, so it's a much better looking model and I'm very happy with it. Um, I didn't find any deep defects with this one. Um, everything looks great. The wings are perfect. And uh, I'm glad that, that Gemini fixed that issue. Uh, so, uh, I am recommending that you get this, uh, this aircraft, uh, this model. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a stunning looking one. Uh, I think Delta ordered about 10 of the enhanced, uh, uh, the enhanced, uh, 242 ton. Uh, so these will be around, uh, uh since this, I think was delivered around, uh, um, I don't know if it was May or June uh, 2015 so uh, they're gonna be around for a while so uh, as far as uh, it's got the three antennas on top uh, this you know as far as the the looks it looks very similar to the other uh, uh, registration but like I said I'm happy to say that they did fix the the wing uh, the issue with the wings so yeah I'm very happy with it um, uh, Delta basically uses this one uh, to go from the East Coast to uh, uh, Europe and as far as uh, Tel Aviv I just checked they did do a JFK to Tel Aviv flight which is about uh, 11 hour flight so uh, um, you would definitely see this on my uh, my airports uh, uh, so uh, I recommend uh, getting this model I will give this one a 9 out of 10. Uh, Gemini is moving in the right direction with their models. Uh, recently, uh, um, I do uh, I do really like the way they did the 737 MAX 8. And actually, all the 737s look pretty good. Uh, they still need to work on the Airbuses. So hopefully, uh, uh, more particularly, the Airbus 330 uh, NEOs. Uh, you know, you know. You, if you guys see my uh, previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, as far as this one, um, if you're on the fence with it, uh, I could happily say that uh, that I do recommend this model. So uh, uh, again, uh, if you uh, didn't get the, if you had a choice of getting this one or the other one, I would definitely recommend getting getting this one. So. Uh, that's all I got to say. So uh, I will be bringing out a, a video early next week uh, about the uh, Orlando uh, realistic Orlando uh, airport updates. Uh, probably do about eight of them. So stay tuned for that. But uh, just to correct uh, what I said earlier, I meant uh, the Airbus 320neo. Uh, which uh, has the uh, the issues uh, with the engines, as far as the the way they look. So that's what I meant to say, not the 
not the 330 neo so uh but yeah uh, but that's it on the on this video so uh this concludes this video hope you guys enjoyed it until uh, next time i'll uh, take care